update it. And then I will open up that in Excel. Just a bit, put that one there. And I'll also save it. Let's save it in our custom reports. Report number two, vertical analysis, let's say. And I'll paste that, uh, let's say, vertical analysis, 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 income, income, I know how to spell that one, statement, okay, save it, open this one up, and then I'll copy the entire sheet on, on that one, so I'm going to say enable, I'll select the triangle, control C or right click and copy. And then I'm gonna open a new tab where I wanna put it, hitting the plus button down below. I'm gonna say income statement vert or something like that. Put it in A1, control V or right click and paste special. You have to be in A1 or select the entire workbook, worksheet I mean. And there we have it. If you go back to the file tab and we were to print this now, we can print the entire workbook using the cute PDF printer and put this on a PDF. So that's our end goal. Let's make one more over here just to, to, to uh, put the last one in place. I'm gonna go back on over. We're gonna go to another one. Let's do an income statement. So let's go to the original income statement, right click, duplicate it, pull that on over to the right and we'll start to build one from this one. This time, let's do a, a one that has multiple periods. And so let's do it with the quarters again, and then maybe a total on it. So I'm gonna say, let's go to the fiscal drop down, and I wanna say this quarter. So let's start with this quarter, and then also add to it the prior quarter, update it. So there we have it. And then I'm going to I'm going to add them two up this time for the two quarters just to show that one. So I'm going to say let's edit the layout and let's say I just add another column and I do it with a formula clicking on it. We're going to say I want this one plus this one. I'm doing this fast because we've seen it before, but notice how how nice that is and I could just get the total. This is the total and I'll go ahead and update that one and then we'll call this the income statement income statement quarter or something like that by quarter so now we've got first quarter second uh, or the last quarter the prior quarter and then the total right we could do that we could add more quarters if we wanted to do four quarters on it so so but I won't I won't do that now so let's go ahead and export. Let's save that one. I, I'm going to say custom and save that one. I'll just call it that and say save it. I can export it as well to Excel. Export it as well to Excel. We'll open that one up and copy it over. Enable. Select the entire worksheet. Control C or right click and copy. And then back on over to where we want it add another tab double click on it income statement i'm going to say cute quarter or something for the quarters i know I'm, i could name these better i'm going to select the entire worksheet and right click and paste it so there we have that now this one i've got to expand this last column a bit does it all fit on one page i can check that looks like it does so that looks good so we'll keep it there i'll save it and let's go back on over. I'm gonna delete this one. I don't need that. I'm gonna delete this one. Don't need that. And then let's do one more, starting with the original income statement. Right click, duplicate it, pull that to the right. And this one, I'm gonna do that difference kind of thing this time. So let's do it with the quarters again. Let's go to this quarter. Let's say we wanna see uh, the prior quarter too. Boom. Then I wanna see the difference between the quarters and I would like to see a percentage change, horizontal analysis type of format. Edit the layout to do it. And I'm gonna say, uh, delete changes, add a column with, with uh, formulae, 
and I want it to be this one minus this one. And then I'm gonna call that the difference and then add another column with a formula. I'm gonna select that and say, this is gonna be the difference divided by the prior period. Boom, I want that showing as a percent, please. And this is the percent difference, something like that. Update this one. And so now we've got another fancy report done fairly uh, quickly. I could, I should be removing the decimals on all of them because that's what I've been, my, that's my custom. So then I'm gonna say, this is gonna be a, a comparative. I'm gonna call it a comparative, compare, comparative income statement. I'll copy that name and then go on down and say that I wanna custom that one. Comparative income statement, boom. Export it to Excel, export to Excel. Open it up in Excel add the final report to our Excel worksheet that we're going to be doing here. Enable the editing, triangle up top, copy the whole thing, minimize, add another worksheet to our workbook, double click on the name, income statement comparative or something like that. Cop, income statement cop, comparative, comparative, and then put our cursor in A1 or select the whole sheet, control V or right click and paste. So there it is, there it is. So now once we have these set up, we could do more formatting on them, but just note that now we have a fairly significant amount of reports that all relate to roughly the same period that we might wanna put on one PDF file that we can give to someone at one time, which has the reports in order that we want to put the order in them and we can give uh, easily to someone. So I could go to the file tab, print it. We could go then to the entire workbook. That's a key component. And you need a PDF printer. The cute PDF printer, I believe is free. So you could check that one out. And then we have all this information up top. It's not as centered as when we print the reports uh, to a PDF, but we could format them more if we wanted to do that.